The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. Representing D Generation X from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple H. This guy will settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. Calling this one's going to be a real treat, Michael, and I know you feel the same way. Yep, so does King. And approaching the ring, representing D Generation X from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pod. You know, I hate to be so negative, but this guy deserves every last boo he gets here tonight. We're finally going to see which one of these two is the superior competitor. Based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. No one's backing down here. What an impasse. Man, Michael, this is a standstill of epic proportion. No one wants to give an inch. Into the tie-up they go, but... Who's going to end up with the upper hand? Well, I think it's too difficult to tell, even from this angle. Well, the thing about X-Pac's X-Factor finisher is that he can execute it from practically anywhere, making it so hard to defend against. Tell us what you think about X-Pac. The sky's the limit. I see a lot of main events in the future. Oh, no! Massive damage done there. Some impressive offense being shown by X-Pac here. Quick thinking to avoid that. There's the clothesline. Man, Triple H, what offense. You're right, King. I've even seen X-Pac hit the X-Factor from the top rope. Yeah, there's no getting up from a top rope X-Factor. The impact's just too much to overcome, Cole. Good Lord, that wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. And Triple H with a reversal. Uh, that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. 
in the ropes, and that may have been the only escape. And Triple H has momentum. And his heartless attack continues. Oh, man, this is getting tough to watch. King, has there ever been a bigger underdog turned legitimate force than X-Pac? Well, if there is, I haven't seen him. I was never so shocked to see him beat Razor Ramon in 1993. But it was that win that put him on the map, and he's been there ever since. Competing at full health here. Definitely in a good position. Clearly on a mission here. Triple H setting it up. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. Triple H. Now that's a finishing move, people. Uh-oh, submission leg lock. Oh, that's hurting my legs just watching it. Triple H knows how to polish off an opponent. Oh, he missed. Oh, oh nobody home that time. Good night. He is connecting with everything. X-Pac is putting on a show. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. Can he do it? Can he dig down deep and fight out of this hole? Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Cole, you're right about X-Pac's role in the Monday Night War. First, he was a major member of the NWO, then jumped to D-Generation X coincidentally as the tide was starting to turn in WWE's favor. Here comes X-Pac. Incredible move by X-Pac. There it is, the finisher. This could all... We got a cover. And the shoulder's up in time. Well, as long as it's up before that three count, that's all that matters. What do you have to do to keep this guy down? Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. He is just getting busted up. Not this. He's looking warm off the buses. This one's over. Boy, he just got laid out. The human body can only absorb so much of that. Good grief! How is he still conscious? And now it's Triple H with momentum. He's really done a number on him thanks to moves like that. We're looking at complete domination here. This is a wreck. He's moving like an uncaged animal. No lie, he's wild in there. Wow! Unbelievable impact there. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. If there's one place you don't want to get pummeled, it's your face. No kidding. Woo, that's hurting me. Absorbing a little bit of punishment here. Nothing to be overly concerned about, though. The tension, the drama. This is electric. Look at the back of my arm, Cole. Look at the goosebumps. I love this. He's too busy bragging and boasting and then battling in this matchup. 
And here is the game. Talk about getting momentum behind you. Triple H doing what he does best. Pick his opponent apart. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. Four. Five. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Wow. He's still down after that. Man, this has been a great matchup. You're right about that, Cole. A Matt Classic. Three. Just look at this, man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Four. Five. Oh, this isn't good. It's all Six. over but the shouting. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can walk out victorious. Who will it be? Ouch! That's got to hurt. Well, we're on the move here. I like it. Let's get this thing done inside the ring. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Look at this hang time. It's incredible. Looking to fly. I don't know how much. Whoa, whoa! There may not be another man on the planet that can control a match as well as Triple H. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. to giving it their all. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Look out what's going on here. No breathing room. He's a mission locked in. And this might be it. What strength, fighting his way out. Uh-oh. A lot of momentum behind that flying forearm. Yeah, it almost took his head off. That was good. Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. And for the first time tonight, X-Pac heads for the top rope. Some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. Oh God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's gonna get lit up like a Christmas tree. What a match! Make no mistake about it, this is getting ugly. Yeah, now we're just talking about his face. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, Kane. But I still don't see him giving up. The pedigree, this one is in the books. Pedigree to perfection. Oh no, we know what this 
misses. Oh, what a pedigree. That's it. His shoulders are down. What a win. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Now let's take a look at some of the big highlights. Here's your winner, representing D-Generation X, Triple H. What a great match and a huge victory to boot. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it in there. Great match. With that win in the books, we must now move on.